Humour is not something you'd expect to discover amid the death and destruction of the Middle East. But a Palestinian art exhibition in Sydney called Beyond the Last Sky is showing that laughter can sometimes be the best mediator. It's a world where Palestinians have literally gone to the final frontier. That's one small step for a Palestinian. Placing their flag on the moon's surface. A symbol of empowerment, but also a story of exile. We want to surprise people, get them to engage, not have that turn off fatigue switch. We want to, you know, switch something back on. Showcasing Palestinian art without the horror of war. This confined space is uncomfortable to say the least and the video shown is equally confronting. It's a recording of a suicide bomber's final words. But take a closer look and you'll see a different story. A famous actor reading the classic novel, A Thousand and One Nights. Another beast process, the absurd encounter between Palestinian Authority Chairman Yasser Arafat and Israeli PM Ehud Barak during Camp David talks. A playful fight over whom should first enter the negotiating room turns into a dizzying dance. Australian Palestinians say humour helps. We Palestinians are more than victims of Israel. We are outraged and compassionate and funny and risky and sexy and provocative and seductive and sensual. And speaking of enigmatic figures, the Mona Lisa. No, wait, that's artist Raida Sadeh putting herself in that famous painting shifting the backdrop to an Israeli settlement. What you get here is, uh, is um, a humour that allows people to kind of enter into the discussion a lot more, well, a lot more freely. Yes, we, we belong. Yes, we are still alive. Yes, we can fight. Yes, we can make it because we are very proud Palestinian. Jerusalem, we have a problem. And perhaps one day they'll find the solution. Sohail Damuni, World News Australia.